got uh, the 66 kilo champ, Brian Lee, and his handler, Joe Stan. Uh, so to start off with, uh, do you want to say anything? Yeah, I just, uh, I would like to say shout out Joe for uh, handling me, um, and then Charlie Yang for uh, housing me, uh, showing me a good time around here, and then uh, Allison Valerie for coming out to support, uh, and then just the rest of my friends uh, watching back home in Washington, and a special shout out to Wasker for also uh, qualifying for Worlds. And Joe, is there, do you want to add anything for opening statement? Uh, just that I'm, I'm really proud of, of Brian. Um, he's had a lot of ups and downs over the course of my knowing him as a, a lifter, and being able to push himself to the highest level to get to the World Championships is, is huge. Yeah, I'll just start off and first of all say congratulations to you both. Congratulations on hitting Thank the you. Carpino and for uh, you know qualifying to go to the World Championships. Um, just a question about the squat. So um, I think if I remember correctly on your second squat, you were called on depth. Mm -hmm. Knowing that you were going up against a guy like Jonathan Garcia, who's a supreme level squatter, mm -hmm. was there ever a thought in either of your mind to go ahead and bump your attempt up because you knew that the strength was there? Or were you thinking, you know, let's strategically obviously you know, stay at the same weight, which you did. I just wonder if that was even on the table. You want to take this over? Or? Yeah, I mean, so uh, I have I have one rule. If you miss on a technicality, you do not go up. Learned that from uh, one of the best. Um, and, I mean, I think it served us well here. Uh, I don't necessarily think that 242 was all Brian had, but I think getting down to a proper depth kind of took a little bit more energy than we would have liked. So I think if we would have gone up, that may have cost us the third squat, which certainly would have made the competition closer. Yeah, I think uh, two biggest changes, uh, just for squat, just squatting deeper in general throughout training. And then I think mainly for bench, um, just holding my benches at the top a bit uh, before descending. And then I think maybe trying to train in uh, some sort of like new shoes. Um, I think I had a little bit of slipping that kind of messed with me on the second unrack. So um, yeah, I think we'll just, you know, change a little bit of training and then see if uh, some new shoes would help out. Yeah, okay. I mean, I think the, the main goal going into deadlifts was, you know, like regardless of where I was in placing, I think we just wanted to hit the Carpino. Um, that was the goal in the second attempt. And then I think, you know, once that was there and I think, you know, we were pretty sure we would stay in first, I think just a third attempt that was like above a PR for just the total and then deadlift for me, I think was um, kind of the goal. Um, maybe had a little bit more, but... I think that was the right call for today. Okay, uh, last question for Matt Gary, go ahead. Yeah, um, first of all, again, congratulations on your total. And just to put things in perspective, because um, you totaled 713.5, if we're looking at the landscape of powerlifting, that would have placed you second in this weight class in South Africa. Um, so how do you feel potentially you know, going into Malta and potentially locking horns with some of these other guys in the weight class? Um. I'm excited. I think, you know, being able to get pushed um, by other competitors and I think just being, um, I guess, shown a new culture and just competing in a new country um, will be fun. Um, and yeah, I think, you know, this performance might like kind of gets my name out there to the rest of the world. So I think it'll be uh, exciting. Awesome. All right. Thank you and congratulations on your national Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Great job.